Bradford against Manchester United away from home in the Premier League. This is the preview for the Premier League game against Brentford. This game is a... It goes without saying that we need to win this game if we are looking to at least advance into the top four. Um, this is not going to be an easy game. It goes without saying. We lost against Brentford last season. And that was proposed to Ertung in his press conference because it felt like a long time as he expressed in the, con in the press conference that... You know, it's been a long time, but as have we made progress? Have we done enough to justify us winning games away from home? So this is going to put us to the test tomorrow. Now, there's a few things I need to point out. Um, given that the international break is all, is over, there's a few players that are, I believe, Hermaguaya has an injury. Um, Kobe Minor as expressed by Erting Hag, is not, he didn't train last time, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the squad. He's a very vital player, goes out saying, let me say this, man, Kobe Mino is, I've said this before, Kobe Mino is playing like an eight, a 28-year-old in his prime. This guy's a decade off that. He's 18 years old, and he's bossing our midfield, and he's bossing the midfield for England. He just has that aura about him, and the guy plays as if he's walked on nails on a daily basis, like nothing phases him man that is the maturity that we lack uh from all the other midfielders apart from casemiro mctominy has yeah, i mean mctominy is good in his own self but he's not a good midfielder for us to advance to in the premier league but he's good in other areas he's an aerial threat he can score goals you know he's a poacher in the box is me first probably we have probably misprofiled mctominy maybe he's an attacking midfielder like amar one feeling at everton it's more persons believe through Jose Mourinho that he was a defensive midfielder, which he's not. Bruno Fernandes doesn't have that same maturity or discipline as uh, Kobe Mino. Kobe Mino knows when to go forward and drop back. So him being in our squad tomorrow against Bedford is a very, it goes without saying, it's very essential and necessary, man. What Kobe Minor is to Manchester United, water is to the soul. Without water, we go die, man. And that is how Manchester United, that's how Kobe Minor is to Manchester United. Without Kobe Minor, we don't have that stability in our midfield to start with, with whether it's Casemiro. That's him, Casemiro can not take it long, but Casemiro can start in our midfield, and he's very good, Casemiro. But we need a complementary player with Casemiro. That is not Scamac Tomini or Bruno Fernandes. That's where that's where the profile of a Cobb Minor comes into play. So anyway, yes, man, he's a very much needed player in our squad tomorrow, man. He's a very much needed so. Um Lissandra Martinez is back from injury, I believe, so he'll be in the squad for tomorrow's game. Now, let us evaluate this game against Brentford. As I've mentioned, we lost this game against uh we lost against them last season away from home. Um can we make the progress in beating Brentford away from home? No, Brentford, we have, um, what well, should say this, you know, Brentford is not an easy fixture away from home. So, with that being said, it's going to be based on the team news for tomorrow in basically seeing if we have a chance against Brentford. And it's, it's very damning for me to me, to, for, it's very damning for me to be saying this against Brentford, like, or do we have chances of beating Bedford tomorrow? Like, this is Manchester United, man. We should be beating any side in Premier League. But unfortunately, in this um, phase, that's not the case. But we can get a, we can we can beat Brentford tomorrow. We can beat Brentford tomorrow. We can actually draw, draw against Brentford tomorrow, although a draw shouldn't be of our interest. We should be winning. We should be looking to win tomorrow against Brentford if we're looking to advance in the top four. So... It's going to be based on who we start again tomorrow, man. It's going to be based on who we start again tomorrow. So, in the starting 11, and if you have been watching up until this point, like and subscribe to the channel, leave your comments down below in the comments section. Um, Andrew and Anna will be starting. On the right-hand side, I'm going with... Um, oh, look, he was asked about Luke Shaw. Um, Luke Shaw is not coming back anytime soon, I don't think, but everything I've expressed... That he'll at least play a game this season. He'll be back, but you know, we'll see how that works. Not that we miss him anyway, but you know, yeah. So on the right hand side, I'm going with Diogo Dalo, who has been very immense this season. He's been our transformation. Since about Pierin, I'm going with is Vern injured? I doubt it. I'm going with um 
Raphael Varane, Raphael Varane and uh, Johnny Evans. Left back. Hmm. I'm going with Victor Lindelof. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Von, Von Bissaka might... I might go with Wan Bissaka at the, at the, at the right-hand side and Diogo Dalo on the left hand. Yeah, so Wan Bissaka on the right-hand side and um, Dalo on the left hand. Dude, I've seen him against Liverpool and this bridging cannot play left back, man. He's not left-footed for one. And when he's advancing on the left-hand side, he looks awkward, man. He cannot adjust. He's not fluid with the ball like that to be playing left back. So the best the best case scenario for Wan is to play right back and go put Dilo at left back, man. This bridging can't play left back. In midfield. I'm going with Casemiro. Casemiro and Kobe Minor. Yes, sir. He's gonna be starting despite having a knock or whatever. I'm going with uh Kobe Minor and Casemiro in our midfield. Number ten. I'm going with Bruno Fernandez. Now persons may say, well, why not Scott? Well, why not start Scott McTominay? Scott McTominay is good, at, you know. You know he's the best option to play in away games. You know, you know if you want to play Scott, Mc if you are playing against Brentford and they're an aerial team, we have to play Scott McTominay. He's an aerial threat, dude. That's a plan B. We should be. I I I where I get where you're saying in in saying that you know against our area of a physical side like Brentford we should be starting Scott McTominay but really and true we should be starting uh Kobe Mine and Casimir that can be a plan B in the second half man we shouldn't be relying on that as if that's plan A or something if things don't go as well as as as, as planned in the first half then yeah yeah put him on in the second half go put him in the box and score goals but right now that should not be our main goal or expectation to be starting Scott McTominay away from home when we have other players. He can come on if things are not going well, man. So anyway, Bruno Fernandes as number 10. I'm going with Garnach on the right hand side, dude. I'm I do not be want I don't want to be seeing Garnach on the left hand side. I've expressed this before. When he's on the left hand side and he has space, it's like he doesn't know what to do with it, man. He's, he's like a fat kind kid in the canister. So he doesn't know what what choice to make. Is me? He just you know slowly nudges the ball in the box, man. When he have space, man, go there, go direct. That is why it's best for him to start on the right hand side. He less he thinks less and he's like an impulse type player. You know, he's just in the moment. He doesn't think. But when he's on the left hand side, he thinks just like Rashford. Just like Rashford. It's the same scenario with Rashford. Uh, speaking of Rashford, I'm going with Gun uh, Rashford. No, Gunnach. I'm finished with Gunnach on right hand side. Rashford on left hand side. And I believe he's holding back from injury. Let me go check some. I believe Gunnach. Because uh, I don't want to be seeing no Rashford as no striker. I don't want to be seeing Rashford up, up, up front, man. He's not a striker. And definitely against... Not against Bedford. Is me so I'm guessing he'll be uh I guess he'll be uh uh uh, uh I th I think he'll be in the squad uh Rasmus Hoyland. Don't call don't um Yeah, so I'm guessing he'll be available for tomorrow's game. He may not start. But if he does start, I'm going with him up to, up front to start. And if he doesn't start, I'm going with man, this is a funny one, you know. I'm going with Rashford. I'm going with what the manager is going with, not what I want. I'm going with uh well me through the manager. I'm seeing uh everything I'll choose Rashford as striker. And on the left hand side, Ganach on the left hand side and Anthony on the right hand side. If if Hoyland doesn't start, if Hoyland doesn't start again. Rashford through the middle as a striker, Ganach on the left as a left winger, and Anthony on the right hand side as a right winger. But if he doesn't start, if he does start, Holland through the middle, Rashford on the left, Ganach on the right. Leave your predicted starting lineups in the comment section and uh, subscribe to the channel, like and subscribe. Um, hit that bell as well so that you can be notified on each um each video that I upload. Yeah, man, this is a very tough game, man. I mean, we're not playing against Barcelona in 2011, but this is a this is a, this is a proper a proper Premier League side to play against. 
we have had struggles in the past against Brentford. So let's not act as if this game is like an immediate walkover. It's not an immediate walkover. Is me so despite that we shouldn't be giving Brentford that, that type of respect, but we should try to at least get a result out of this. And that's gonna lead me to my score prediction. My score prediction is that this is not going to be a clean sheet on both sides. Goals are going to be scored. It's just a matter if we're going to win or lose or draw the game. I'm going with... Hmm. I'm going with a 2 all. Yeah, I'm going with a 2 all, man. Yeah, I'm going with a 2 all. A 2 all draw. Not what I want, but that's my gut instinct and I'm going with my gut instinct. Comments down below in the comment section on your predictions. Hey man, if you believe say Manchester United go lose five nil or win five nil, leave your comments down below in the comment section. This is an all inclusive comment section. This is there is no um, I'm not putting any you know restriction or anything. Leave your authentic comments in the comment section, man. This is a funny game, so we have to see how Manchester United approach this game. You know we have um, we have been winning games lately, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel. Our brother is out. Peace.